It's really sad to see the kids like dying all over. Like they need to stop killing people. The heartfelt words of a Southwest Detroit girl, the same age as many of the young victims who were killed in Uvalde, Texas. I see like in the news, like, like shot, shot and stuff and killing. <sighs> on Friday night, a small gathering of people on McMillan and Military in Detroit, distraught and angry about the latest mass shooting in America. I want us to not think about this in the traditional way that we're going to try to take someone's guns away. Let's think about this in a way that keeps these kids safe. We have to speak up and continue to push back and say doing nothing isn't an option. Anela las corrientes de las aguas. Así te anhelo tío Dios. Lawmakers at Friday night's gathering say they believe it is possible to make positive change. Congresswoman Debbie Dingell says she's in favor of responsible gun ownership and she's revealing something that might just surprise you. I come to this with a very unique perspective. My husband was on the board of the NRA and I'm very honest that until the day he died, he slept with a handgun under his pillow. And this advice from an everyday person who says change is possible. What I would say is get involved within your community. Contact your leaders, contact your congresspeople, your senators. They're not scary. They're not unapproachable. Call them, have a sit down with them, have a sit down with the staff. Ask them as many questions because we elected them. So you have to hold them accountable. In Southwest Detroit, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.